Mr. Calendar number 87, H.R. 1249, an act to amend Title 35, United States Code, to provide for patent reform. Mr. President. The Senator from Kentucky. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. We now have been into three years of a policy that is not working. Joblessness is up. Our debt has been downgraded. Our country is really on a precipice. And yet we, seen, we continue with the same people giving the same ideas that aren't working. It's important to know how we got here. We're in the Great Recession now, the worst recession since the Great Depression. How did we get here? We got here through bad economic policy, bad monetary policy. This policy originated with Timothy Geithner when he was at the Federal Reserve in New York. It originated with Bernanke, head of the Federal Reserve. And what did we do? We reappointed these people to high office. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, I would respectfully ask at this point that we have a vote, have a vote in the Senate. I think the American people have already given a vote of no confidence to the Secretary of Treasury. I think the American investors, worldwide investors, have given a vote of no confidence to the debt ceiling deal, to what's been going on. Over and over and over again, we're doing the same policy. We've now appointed to be the head of the Council of Economic Advisors someone who brought us cash for clunkers. We spent a trillion dollars, money we don't have, trying to stimulate the economy, and unemployment is worse. Gas prices have doubled. Economic growth is anemic, if at all. We are in the process, perhaps, of sliding into another recession, and something has to be different. We can't keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. For the first time in our history, our debt has been downgraded. This came after policy that came from the Secretary of Treasury and from this administration. It came from a deal that the American people and the world public, the world class of investors, judged and deemed to be inadequate. This country needs a shakeup. We need new ideas. We need different propositions. The same propositions, the same tired old proposals are not working. We are set during this administration to accumulate more debt than all 43 previous presidents combined. We're accumulating debt at $40,000 a second. We're spending money at $100,000 a second. I'd say when policy doesn't work, you need new policy leaders. Now, there won't be a new president until 2012, but this president could choose new advisors because the advice he's been getting is not working. We are languishing. We're on the precipice of possibly going into another recession. And I would suggest at this point, we need a new Secretary of the Treasury. How did we get into this problem? We got into this problem because we had a housing boom. This came from bad monetary policy. It came from the Federal Reserve setting interest rates below the market rate. And that signal was transmitted out into the economy. And we got a housing boom. And then we had a housing depression. We're still in the midst of a housing depression. And where did that policy come from? That policy came from Secretary Geithner, Bernanke. What have we done? We've reappointed these people, reapproved their policies that got us into the problem in the first place. If you want our country to thrive again, you must diagnose the problem correctly before you try to fix it. Because they didn't understand how we got into this recession, they also passed a whole bunch of new regulations. The Dodd-Frank bill heaps all kinds of new regulations and makes it harder to get a home loan. In the midst of a housing depression, we have heaped all these new rules on your community banks. But you know what? In my state of Kentucky, not one bank failed. The problem was at the Federal Reserve. The problem is with the policy. The problem is with the people we still have running this country and advising the president. So what I'm asking for today is a vote of no confidence on Timothy Geithner. I see no reason and no objective evidence that any of his policies are succeeding. So I've come to the floor today to ask for this vote, and we will continue to try to get this vote. We've introduced a resolution in favor of voting a vote of no confidence on Timothy Geithner, and I hope this body will consider it. Thank you, Mr. President. And I yield back the remainder of my time.